Okay, just a just a quickie here because I just discovered some weird behavior with this thing. Uh, but this is the one chip uh, drop in 2.45 inch LCD for Game Boy Color that I was that I just did a stream on. I'll have that linked in the description. Um, but I was measuring the uh, brightness, the effective brightness of the screen with my um, little tool here that I used on every other Game Boy to do the spreadsheet. And man, I'm getting some weird behavior with this brightness. So as you can see, as I cycle through this, let me turn on this other one just so we have some calibration here. This is the Cloud Game Store 2.45. It's set to... I think this is the minimum brightness. Oops. And of course now I can't get it to change. Um, there are like eight levels of brightness and I only know that offhand because I was just cycling through them. But the touch sensor is right about here and this metallic shell is not the easiest thing to, to do. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, this kit gets like two and a half times as bright compared to the Cloud Game Store kit. Uh, but what I wanted to measure was the, um, oh dear, brightness, because now it's working as expected, with 15 being the most bright, whereas during the stream, 14 was the most bright. Um, but right when I started doing this video, 15 was once again not the most bright. So let me power cycle this thing again. I've got constant voltage batteries in here and no game. And if we step it down, you see I stepped down 15, 14, 13, and then when I hit 12, it got brighter. And now I can step up and it's working as expected. Uh, I don't I don't know what's going on with this thing. Um, just for posterity here, I'm gonna get the lux meter out and we're gonna do this on camera for once. Turn this on, I'm gonna set the range, and then I'll just uh, slap that on there. And um, I guess you'll have to take my word for it. We're on brightness level four. And I'm going to pump this all the way up to 12. You can see at 12, we're pulling eh, 339 lux. Step up, 367 lux. Step up, 393 lux. Step up, 420 lux. Now, I'm going to power cycle this thing. It was at level 15. And now that it's come back on, you can see I'm down to 277 lux. So if I open up the OSD, I can see it's still on 15, and I'm gonna step it down to 14. It's at 267 lux, 13, 260 lux, 12, 341 lux, 11, 314. Let's go back to 12, 341, 13, 367, 14, 394, 15, 420. So I don't know how to measure the brightness for this thing because depending on which level of brightness I leave it at and power it back on as, it's, it's gonna affect the effective brightness of this thing. Because if you leave it maxed out and power it back on, it does not power back on at the same actual brightness level. The OSD is the same, but the actual brightness level on this thing is not. Let me... I haven't tried the touch sensors. And of course that's not working, but that could be being interfered with by the um, by the thingy. Um, the, the sensor module itself. Anyway, I, I, I genuinely don't know. Um, as long as you don't plan on using this thing at max brightness, you know, as long as you're going to use it at steps between max and minimum, um, I guess it's fine. Um, but still don't wire up the brightness controls, the buttons. Um, those are still bugged. Uh, according to the manufacturer, they were able to reproduce the issue and they're working on fixing it. Whatever the heck's going on with brightness, 
I have no idea. Um, allegedly, they're they're fixing it, but I don't know that they know about this. So I'm going to go report that to them and see what they do. Um, oops, there we go. There's the brightness bug again. Um, yeah, I don't know. I definitely can't recommend this thing in its current state, though. Um, hopefully they'll fix this stuff and get back to me, and then we'll go from there and reevaluate. I don't know. Um, I can tell by my Lux measurement, 280, that it's still not set to max brightness. So let's see what the OSD says. OSD now says 41. Yeah. That's... I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Thanks, guys. Catch you all next time.